What up? All right, we're going to talk about Alabama recruiting real fast. What's going on in the 2010 recruiting class? So just sit back here and enjoy what you're fixing to hear because Alabama is on a roll and Alabama's not going nowhere. They're doing the monster. Wait, national championships coming soon, very soon. Let me turn this down. All right, folks, how y'all doing today? Um, what I want to talk to y'all about is what's going on in the recruiting class for 2010. Roll Tide. Uh, anyways, 2010 class is going excellent. Uh, the past two years, 2008 and 2009 classes, we've got all around talent that we needed. Uh, we went after good def uh, defensive linemen, linebackers. Uh, matter of fact, 2000, uh, 2009 class, I think we got probably one of the best stack of linebackers in the nation with Petey Smith, Jonathan Atchison, uh, Nico Johnson, and uh, Tanae Patrick, uh, Ed Stinson as a jack linebacker. So them, those, uh, those five guys are uh, very, very talented and were very, very highly ranked in the nation. Now what uh, Nick Saban is doing in this 2010 class is just pretty much handpicking of um, going outside the state. The talent is not as high in the state of Alabama, which we leave that for Auburn to, to get. Um, uh, they're going to steal them players away from Troy and uh, UAB and stuff. But, you know, uh, we're going after some kids, you know, South Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, Florida, uh, Mississippi, um, that's like the main states we're going after and picking some kids up. We've already picked some up from Georgia and uh, uh, Virginia, uh, also Tennessee. Uh, what Nick Saban's doing this year is, uh, like I said, the talent level that he's brought in for 2008-2009 class has been uh, outstanding. You know, on some sites they've ranked Alabama having back-to-back -back recruiting uh, titles. Uh, in 2008 and in 2009. Uh, but 2010, he's just filling in them holes. Of course, he always goes after some top offensive linemen. That's big on uh, Nick Saban's list, which he's already got. Um, Austin she Shepard, Chad Lindsey out of Texas, uh, Jawan, um, Jawan James out of Georgia. Um, you know, just some big-time big time offensive linemen. Um, and we got some still on the board, and James Stone and uh, Damian Robinson out of Mississippi, um, which those are kids that's high on Alabama. So um, we're gonna see how that plays out. But going, let, let me get into what I'm what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, Alabama's got, you know, they got AJ McCarron, 2009, which I think he's a very good game controlling quarterback. He's got good accuracy. His speed's decent. Um, I think he fits the Alabama quarterback position very, very good. Um, and I think that he's got a chance to be, you know, a starter all the years at Alabama. But in 2010, they go and get Philip Sims out of Virginia, Chesapeake, Virginia. And this kid is physically already ready to play in the college football Um I think that uh, this kid's going to bring a lot of talent. He's got a he's got an excellent arm. Uh, he's led um, Osborne, uh, a high school in in Virginia, to a state championship last year, which uh, they should be in the state championship running this year. And he's actually fixing to break like all high school records in Virginia. Um, you know, for Nick Saban to go up to Virginia and pluck the top quarterback in the nation, that was a big need that that we had to have. I think A.J. McCarron is going to compete for the quarterback position, but I also think that uh, Phillip Sims and A.J. are going to be two good quarterbacks competing. Whoever gets it, we're going to be a uh, – we're going to have a good quarterback. Um, I think that, uh, you know, going and getting Kiwan Malone, going and getting uh, Ronald Carswell and Blake Sims, those are all going to be wide receivers 
I'm not really sure where they're going to line up Blake Sims. He could play defense. He could play wide receiver. It just it just depends. He's an all-around good athlete, about a 4-4 type guy, 40. Um, got a, got plenty of speed. But um, Kiwan Malone is a big pickup uh, with the speed that he's got. And, of course, we're going after uh, DeMarco Cobbs out of uh, Oklahoma. I believe I'm saying that right. Um and uh, we got some good, talented receivers out here um, that we're going after in 2010. First of all, Saban's going to, Saban gets who he wants to get. And, and Auburn fans, you know, I, I come on online all the time and hear about, you know, how Nick Saban's cheating this, cheating that. You know, I understand you're going to say that stuff because, you know, Alabama's handpicking who they want to get pretty much. If 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 Saban's going after a top recruit and he's going after him strong and y'all are going after him, it, the past two years it's been like, you know, if I see Auburn going after a kid, I'm not worried one bit if we're going after him. That's just how it's been. So I mean, you know, I, I'm it gets pretty old to hear. You know, we were we were down. We were down. Y'all beat us, you know, six years in a row. Alabama was down. We were we went through a lot of coaches. And um but when you start getting down, I am hearing all this cheating and all this you know, y'all are scared. Auburn is scared of Alabama. Uh they're scared of Nick Saban. Just like Trent Richardson said on National Signing Day. Everywhere I went and visited, every single he said I always heard Nick Saban, bad things about Nick Saban, and that told me one thing. Those coaches were scared of Nick Saban. That's what that's the words out of Trent Richardson. And that's true. Everybody knows what Nick Saban is fixing to build at Alabama. So you might as well just sit back and watch. Because Alabama is going to be back on top, going to be contending for a national title uh, almost every single year. Um, I don't. I don't blame recruits wanting to come to Alabama. And I, I'm an Alabama fan, so you know it's hard. You know, you're probably saying, "Well, no wonder. Look at your hat." But at the same time, if a kid's want to play for a national title, you know, kids that's going to Florida right now, I got news for them. Tim Tebow is fixing to be gone, and Urban Meyer it just now came out and said his dream job is at Notre Dame. Um, if you know, if, if, if a head coach was from my college team and came out and said my dream job would be somewhere else, I would want him I would want him to go. If if he's not has fully committed here, he may be fully committed, but I just wouldn't want my coach doing that. I just wouldn't want him coming out. And Lane Kiffin. All right, let me let me let me let me explain something to Lane Kiffin. All right. You hadn't coached an SEC game yet. All right. You have not coached an SEC game yet. Until you coach an SEC game and have a winning winning season and, and start pushing Tennessee back to where it used to be, your words really are irrelevant. They are. I mean, you, you say stuff about Urban Meyer, which was not a good idea because, for one, Tim Tebow's still there, and for two, they didn't lose a defensive player from 2009. It's it's pretty bad to talk about them right now. Florida's going to be good again. And then you call out Steve Spurrier, and Steve Spurrier might jump up and bite you at South Carolina. And then you talk about Nick Saban. You're you're pretty much got the shovel, and um, you're taking scoops of dirt out, and you're burying <laughs> you're burying yourself right now. You're not being very smart. But, um, anyways, the main thing I was wanting to say on this is Nick Saban is going to continue recruiting. Nick Saban is going to continue to get top talent in the nation. Uh, pretty much just sit and take it. That's just how it is. Um, the man knows how to recruit. The man knows how to coach. Uh, the man can put kids in, in the league. And kids know that. So... You know, he's got an offensive line coach that's a veteran that's been coaching over 30 years, and he's got, uh, you know, Sal Sanceria or whatever his name is that just now left the NFL to come to college. So just take it, all right? He's got everything he needs to recruit, and he's going to keep recruiting. 
So quit whining and take it. All right? Quit whining.